adventurers! Today I've got an interesting little video for you. It's gonna be a short one. I just want to introduce you to this idea that I'm gonna be doing here. So it's a travel book club and it's kind of this slightly self-indulgent concept that I thought would be fun. The way this idea came was that one of the things that I really like to do when I'm traveling, and I guess this is sort of a travel tip, is that before the actual trip, I like to find books about that particular location I'm going to and read them before I go on the trip. And what's nice about this is that you can learn the history, you can learn about the culture, sometimes about the food. You can learn about all these things before you go on your trip so that when you do go on your trip, you are prepared to see these things. And you know, you, you know what you're looking at before you go. And that can be kind of nice because I sometimes feel like, especially with history, you can enjoy it even more. If you go on a trip and you're in a tour and they're just spewing different numbers and things at you, sometimes it's really hard to put it in perspective. There's just so much history, so much, so much information. But if you've read a book about it, you've got pictures and faces and names in your mind that already are associated with this place. It actually helps to kind of really visualize it when you're there. And so I really enjoy that. And that's one of the things I do to prepare for some trips, especially longer trips. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is that first I'm gonna show you what book we'll be reading this period. It's gonna be John Steinbeck's Canary Row. And this is actually one of my favorite classic novels. I love it because John Steinbeck is a very descriptive writer and he also really can set a scene. And since this book is set in, in Monterey on Canary Row, he really gives you a concept of what Canary Row was like during the Great Depression in the 1930s. This was set in the 1930s. Since he actually grew up in the Salinas Monterey area, he knew this area really well, and he bases a lot of his characters in this book off of real live characters that were around at that time. And the main character, Doc, was actually based off of one of his really good friends. So now that you know what book it is, I'm gonna give you about a month and a half to read it, well, to find it and then read it. Actually, I found that these aren't really that easy to find anymore in like, thrift shops and whatnot because Steinbeck's a really very popular writer still. Once you've had your month and a half to read, I'm gonna post a vlog about my trip to Canary Row where I will be touring the areas, find, trying to find out as much information about references to Canary Row as possible as well as checking out that Steinbeck Museum. Because I have been kind of thinking about this idea and we've been going to a lot of thrift shops, as you know, you'll link the little thrift shop video up there in case you haven't checked it out. I have been picking up a couple of these books on my way. I actually picked up four of them. I'm gonna be giving away four of these books. They are used, they're not beautiful, but for people who just wanna get a kickstart and wanna get a free book, I'm happy to send these to you. I'm only gonna be sending them to people in the US because I'm planning on sending these media mail. What I'm gonna do is for the first four people that send me your address to the email listed here, and I'll list the email also in the description below, I will go ahead and send them to the first four people. And then get started, read your book in a month and a half's time, look forward to the vlog. And then during the vlog, I'm gonna actually put a question or maybe a couple questions in the comment section below to get some dialogue going about this book. Cause I want it to be kind of treated like a book club as well. You know, I want you to tell me, did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, did it give you a good concept of Canary Row? Do you wanna go to Canary Row because of it? You know, book clubs are so much fun because you know, you may end up hating a book, but then you go talk to somebody that has also read the book and get a completely different perspective and maybe it makes you rethink your feelings about the book. You know, people have different perspectives on different things and that makes uh, reading in groups or with other people really fun because you learn a lot about the book that you may not have got the first time you read it. I'll be doing that and actually I'd like you to comment on this video below and let me know what book have you read that has inspired you to wanna to travel somewhere or maybe have you already traveled there based on reading a book? And if so, was it incredible? Did you feel like you got more out of your trip because you had read a book on that area? Uh, I'd really like to know that. So let me know in the comment section below if you've done that. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy the book. If you don't, that's fine. Let me know because it's, you know, the whole point of a book club is to express your feelings and talk to other people about the books. Thank you for watching. And I, I really hope you enjoy the idea of a travel book club. I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right, thanks, bye.